know who has done the most dirt. The planet know where everybody at, and the planet know where everybody descendants are. Okay? Where was the Declaration of Independence signed at in this country? Where was the Declaration of Independence signed at in this country, y'all? And we all know that America is going down. America is the New Age Babylon. America is the Babylon that's being destroyed. She is the leader of merchants, trades, all of that. All right. And we know that America is ran by the British royals, the British royals, Queen Elizabeth, which is the head queen of the reptilian extraterrestrial race. They run everything, but their number one corporation is the United States of America. America is a corporation. So America shall go down. America will burn to the fucking ground. America will never win another war. This has been documented and written in the cosmos. All right. So they started with the headquarters. They started with headquarters. America was officially became the United States of America in the year and their year of 1776. The Declaration of Independence was signed where in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So Philly, the city of brotherly love, is the headquarter of America, not Washington, D.C. Declaration of Independence, preamble, Constitution, the military herself. All of that was started. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 1776. All right. That's what you got to know. OK, now, why hit New York so hard? New York getting it hard because we know that New York is what their headquarters. It was their main fort after they killed Pocahontas, Chief Powhatan in the Powhatan tribe, which is a real story. That's how they were able to take over present day New York. And they said that they settlement, they first settlement they ever set up was called what? Jamestown. OK. And where was the Jamestown settlement located? New York City, don't forget that. Okay, and why was it called Jamestown? Because one of the most evilest motherfuckers that ever walked around sent those ships over there, all right? And what was his name? His name was King James, all right? Oh, King James, that name sounds familiar. I know he ain't talking about the King James. Yeah, I'm talking about the King James. Yeah, the same one you believe in in your Bible, King James Version, yes. That crooked motherfucker. Not only was he... Not only was he a homosexual, but he was a pedophile and a pedagogue. He was a rapist. He cut his motherfucking mama head off. That nigga, be King James beheaded his own mama. And y'all still want to run around listening to this nigga version of, of history. OK, so understand, though, that the first settlement was Jamestown. Let's take you back to their little bullshit history. Jamestown. And you can understand why was it called Jamestown? Because King James was the head of the other Spanish conquistador fleets. Remember that. So this should get deep. This is nothing but karma. This is this is this is the karmic debt being repaid. You got to remember. Remember that episode in The Simpsons when they told y'all New York was going to flood and be underwater. Y'all remember that episode? Everybody remember the episode when they talked about Trump, but let's go deeper. The Simpsons got an episode where they showed you New York City underwater, the whole fucking city. Go look it up. We in the end game, y'all. We the, the planet ain't playing with nobody. And remind you, you I, I, that's what I'm trying to tell the elite. Y'all sending shit at me and talking shit. You know, y'all courthouses, y'all motherfucking laws, y'all money system, all this shit is over with. This shit is over with. I don't even know why y'all still following the law. I don't even know why y'all still working for them. Niggas need to be working on they self right now. Motherfuckers need to be working on saving up food supplies, going off the grid, getting ready for all that. They not telling y'all what's to come. Remember, 2021 is 2012 in reverse now. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's why my motherfuckers be on here trolling me, nigga. I'm here to save your motherfucking life, nigga. Why you out there playing? I told y'all. I'm knowing now. You ain't got to get on a motherfucking ship with me, but I would advise your ass to start building one. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. You ain't got to get on a ship with me, but I'll be damned if, if, if I would advise your ass to start building a ship, build something, nigga, a raft, a ship. You hear me? A speedboat, nigga. Nigga, something, because it's finna rain. You hear me? You hear me? It's finna rain destruction and desolation. For every one of our ancestors y'all destroyed, for every motherfucking animal y'all done killed and slaughtered during hunting season for no reason. Then I just said that the other day, I said it would be no more hunting season. Y'all would be going into the woods, America, and you hunters, you evil motherfuckers that destroy our animals for no reason. You poachers, yeah. Y'all, y'all will be going out there trying to aim your rifles at these animals and it will no longer work. America, you have already been de-armed. 
You got the whole fucking world believing you still got all your nukes. Y'all ain't got no nukes. All of your nuclear weapons have been deactivated. They've been deactivated for two years now. You can send a missile to, to Asia if you wanted to right now. That's what that's what your citizens don't know, America. But guess what? We here to work through divine inside vessel tonight to remind y'all of what's to come. OK, like we just told y'all, let our people go. See what I'm saying? Because the everybody that you think our people ain't our people. Just because they got neuromelanin in their skin don't mean they are people. If they have low dark matter energy levels, then that means they soul has been bought. And if your soul has been bought, shout out to all the rappers in Hollywood and celebrities. That's why I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all might want to try to get y'all, y'all might want to get up out of there. You might want to try to get up on out of there, but it might just be a little too late. All right? All that shit y'all sold y'all sold for in Hollywood and all that shit, y'all finna realize that, that Papa Legba, Papa Legba, all right? You know, a lot of a lot of you know Papa Leg by the one that built you know you can't leave this realm until they until they prepare uh, until they prepare they have to dig a grave for your avatar. That's why a lot of people that sell their soul when they leave the physical realm, Papa Leg by didn't dig, dig a grave for y'all yet down there in the nether realm. So when y'all leave here now y'all just wanderers y'all just wanderers y'all become wanderers and then because y'all sold y'all soul it belongs to to the nether realms, Hades and them. So now you just under there, a lot of y'all ass pissed off right now. I told y'all that like a lot of these a lot of famous people that we looked up to, they never transcended because they sold they soul. They ass still here and they pissed the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Because they can't go nowhere. They can't connect. See, what you don't want to do is you don't want to leave your avatar and still be here unless you own a certain type of distinct mission by the ancestors. But just if you just traverse in the multiverse, you're supposed to leave your avatar and keep going or come back. A lot of people, when they sell out, they stay stuck here. All right. They stay stuck here. All right. Now, as far as human beings, the reason y'all see ghosts is because y'all are single cell organisms. So a lot of human beings, when they only have spirit. So when they leave, a lot of human beings definitely try to stay here because they don't want to they don't want to go into that ether, that the etheric realm because they are a single cell organism. And if you only got a spirit, if you get if you get drawn into the etheric realms, OK, you will be lost through these what they call portals. Forever, just tumbling and fumbling around portal to portal. Why? Because you lack a soul. See, once you break through the physical realm and you move from the solid phase and you start moving up, like to the quantum realms and the and the and the, and the plasma realms, you need a soul. Why? Because the soul is magnetism. So you need magnetism. The electricity will allow your soul will allow you to travel, but it's the soul, the magnetism that allow you to stick. Like, say you don't have a soul in, but you, as you're traveling through these alternate realities, you might see a reality that you want to go visit, right? But if you lack a soul, you can't go there because you have no magnetism. So even if you only have a spirit and your electricity can jolt you there in the astral realms, you can't stick and stay there because you lack, you, you, you lack the metaphysics. You lack the metaphysical properties. You need a soul. All right? So with all this water coming up out the, out the, out the ground... All right. The earth is the earth. Kai is being cleansed. All right. And what you're about to start seeing, you see that the whole West Coast is on fire. And I've been told y'all that dragons exist. Dragons are real. The dragon portals never completely closed. That's why California always stayed dry or kind of always stayed on with a lot of fires over the years. And they always were trying to seal these portals off to keep you away, uh, not aware of the dragons. Dragons exist. Unicorns exist. Bigfoot ain't number but the Neanderthal. That's them. Goddamn it, motherfucking um, mermaids and mermen exist. Fairies exist. Gnomes exist. Trolls exist. Matter of fact, if you want to get deeper, nigga, butterflies are a part of the fairy. Are a part of the fairy family. They are a part of the elemental beings.